Version 2.0 of Live Automation comes out today, and by the time that you are done watching this video, you are going to either fire your current credit repair software or you're going to set your manual disputes on fire. And you can always head over to the sales page and see all of the information as well as purchase right on there. So let me show you why this is so awesome. So this is the major, major, major overhaul. All we're doing is going through a couple of steps on the start page. So we have start, manager, auto manager, print, and where we import our credit report. That is it. Step number one is very simply to add your personal information, like your name, date of birth, social, and your full address. Step number two is to decide which bureaus you want to create dispute letters for, like Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. All you do is check those boxes. Now, you can either use your own letters and add them to the letter sheet, or you can use a built-in. So we're just going to go with round one. That's it. Super simple. Step number four, choose a letter closing, like thank you for your attention to this urgent matter, blah, blah, blah. Last step, you're going to either option A, use your credit report from Identity IQ, or option B, you're going to manually dispute. And you can actually manually dispute while also using your Identity IQ report. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. But the very first thing is import your Identity IQ report. We're gonna click on report, and then we're just going to import by going to import, upload, browse, choose your HTML credit report that you downloaded from Identity IQ. And we are going to very simply replace the current sheet and import our data. We only have one step after that. Go to Auto Manager and click to run new credit report import. And it's going to run the script that I wrote. Now, if this is the first time you're using it, all you gotta do is accept the permissions and that's it. So I'm gonna walk you through first the Auto Manager and then the Manager. So on the auto manager, you're going to click on the drop down and choose whichever account you want to dispute first. So if you have 10 accounts, you are going to, in each row, select that account, starting with one, then two, then three, so on and so forth. It's automatically going to extract the creditor name and put it on there for you and the account number. And this is going to create the perfect dispute reason for you because all you're doing is selecting what you want to dispute from the account, like date last paid, date last active, et cetera, and whether you want to delete or correct the account. Second to last step is which bureaus are reporting it, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. So you will see that there is one last section here, added facts to support your argument. Where are you gonna get those from? You're actually gonna come over and you're gonna double click into the account, and we chose date last paid, so we're actually going to just copy these two dates. So it, if you're on PC, it's Control C, and we're gonna come over here and just drop it into this cell right here. And now that created the perfect dispute reason for you because when you come over to print, you're going to see that it says, delete this account for inaccuracy because the date of last payment reports 215 and 215, okay? So now we're gonna go over to the manager. This is where you can manually write your own dispute reason or you can use a built-in reason. You can also use the drop down in the last column and you can actually see the entire account. So if you did import a credit report, you can still use this. So let's say that we're disputing that same account. As you can see, it populates all of the information and we can either write our own dispute reason such as delete for inaccuracy because the date last paid reports and then I copied it from this account by double clicking inside of here. So we double clicked and we copied. Or you can actually get rid of this and then choose a built-in reason such as charge off one uh, version A. You will need to manually write out the creditor name and the account number on this. And remember, you need to either choose a built-in reason or write a reason. You cannot do both. So if we're going to use a built-in reason, we would just remove whatever we have in this cell over here that says enter custom dispute reason below. And we would select it from here or if we wanted to do the opposite, we would just get rid of this and it gets rid of that dispute reason and then we would write the reason here. This is really, really simple. You have three different options for disputing. Again, you either import and then create the perfect dispute reason or you manually dispute by writing out your reason and choosing a built-in option or manually write your dispute reason and write your custom reason. And of course, you do wanna make sure that you say which bureaus are reporting that account. So if we head over to the print, 
we're going to see that we have both of our accounts, creditor name one, account number one, two, three, four, five. And my dispute reason that I had written in there was write the reason. And then NFCU, delete this account because the date last paid reports date and date. It is so, so simple. You're just gonna go over and print your dispute letters. And you can actually make the font bigger. I made it smaller so that you can have more accounts on there. You can actually make this bigger very simply by doing a control A and then going and changing your actual font size. So again, all we're doing is choosing our letter, choosing our closing, adding our personal information and choosing the bureaus to dispute on this page. We're going to manually dispute here or we're going to go over and import our credit report and create the perfect dispute reason. So this could not be any easier. There's no other app that actually allows you 100% customization because you do whatever you want with this, allows you to do 100% automation because this was built on top of Google Sheets. So now is the time that you want to stop spending a fazillion dollars and putting it in someone else's pocket and never being able to do what you want with it, such as 100% custom factual disputes with a credit report import and using AI options, okay? And again, you do not wanna wait until after 10-1 because these updates will be $29 per month and there's an, a major update each month. So if you already have live automation, you get this today absolutely free. And if you get it between now and 10-1, you will also get all monthly updates 100% free. Anything after 10-1, again, you will be paying for updates. You can continue to go and pay $100 per month, $379 per month, $499 per month for things that could never do what I just showed you, or you can go get live automation for a one-time payment of 97 until 10-1.